Well, hello there and welcome back to another Starbelt Video Portal production. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create 3D text effects using Final Cut Pro. We're going to do a couple of projects today. The first one is going to be a 3D text logo like this. So we've got a spin and then a spin out. The second thing I'm going to show you is how you can use the text animator tool to animate other objects like this. Pretty cool. And as bonus, I'm going to show you how to use the alpha channel, using that term loosely, to composite these onto backgrounds. And here's the happy face on a nebula background. All right. Let's get started. Let's create a new library for this demonstration. And we'll change this to footage and projects. Let's create a new project. Let's call it 3D Demo. We're going to make it 4K. We're going to make it 29.97p because that matches all of my new cameras. Apple ProRes 422. We want to go high quality here. Click OK. And now we have a new project. To create the alpha channel effect, the first thing we're going to do is click on this icon up here. And we're going to make a solid, a custom solid. Drop it in there. And let's change the duration to four seconds. And there's a little bug here for zoom in and zoom out. It's not working. So what we need to do is create another project. It can be garbage. Open it, go back to here, and the zoom will now work. It's just a weird little bug with Funnel Cut. Okay, we have a four second flat black background, and that'll be the base for what we're gonna do. So let's go up here to the text and generators tool. We'll go to Titles 3D. There's lots of interesting stuff. Today we're going to be working with Custom 3D. So grab that and drag it down here. Now by default it is 3 seconds and 20 frames long. I usually make my titles 4 seconds long. So we'll do that. Double click the title bar. It highlights your Custom 3D text. Today we're going to be doing a logo for my website, starbelt.ca. Make sure you've highlighted it and then select a font. And the best idea here is to go with a fat font. Fat fonts tend to work better for 3D. You can try whatever you like. My favorite one is strenuous. Nice, fat, stylized font. So let's select that. You can adjust the size if you wish. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. We're going to go with the default of 225. So far, so good. Now it gets interesting. I like to make my depth about 33. So now you can see you get a bit of a, a chunkiness there. I like to make my front edge round. And I like to really bring that up so you get some curve and a, a tiny bit of sheen starting to show there. Now it's really fun. Now we get to choose a material. There's lots of interesting materials. The one that I use the most is chrome, believe it or not. Gives me the best effect, I find. And then if you click down here, you can see the true color of what it is. It's looking pretty good. Let's make that a bit bigger. Pause it. So you can see the rounded bevel edge here. Well, it's not bevel, it's rounded. You can kind of see the 3D effect going into the back. Looks pretty sharp. Let's double click that again to highlight it. Another thing that I like to do is I like to add a layer. And one of my favorite ones is to choose a distress layer, dense. So if you look at it closely, now you can see it's not a flat metallic surface. It's got all of these imperfections and dents in it, which is a really nice way of adding some character to your text. Okay, that's fun as far as it goes, but it's pretty static so far. So let's give it some animation. So we'll double click that bar to highlight it. 
We'll go here to this little text tool. The first thing I like to do is I like to change the fade duration into 15 frames. This gives you a free fade in and a free fade out without having to use a text transition. And now when we play this, it kind of fades in quickly and then at the end fades out. Now let's add some animation to it. So we're going to go with a rotate in. I'm going to use a 180 spin. And for my rotate out, I'm going to go for the 180 spin again. Give it a chance to render. It's a bit chunky if you try to play it before it renders. This could take a short while or a long while, depending on your computer. Let's deselect that and take a look. Looking sharp. Now that we have that, let's share that. So we'll share it. I'm using a compressor setting here, but we'll call it 3D Demo Starbelt Text. We're saving it as 4K, and we'll save it here. We'll need it later for the second part of this tutorial. And now we'll have a movie with our text on a flat back round. And if we take a look at the inspector, we can see that we have a full 4K video here at 29.97 frames a second. Okay, so that's uh, how you animate the text. What about animating other characters? So let's go back to this garbage project that we made and let's call it Smiley. Is that how you smell Smiley? Does Smiley have an EY in it? That looks better. Double click that, same thing. We're going to put a black custom solid down there, just flat black. Let's change the duration to four seconds. Let's zoom that in a bit. We've got the bug again, so go back here. Just open a different uh, project, then go back to Smiley, and you'll see that it actually was doing it, but yeah, just a weird little bug. Again, we'll go to our 3D text, custom 3D, put it in there. Oops, come over here. Make him the full four seconds. Here is something really cool. If you go to some of these weird fonts way down at the bottom, there's symbols like wingdings or whatever they're called. And you can actually animate these with the 3D text animator tool within Final Cut, which is kind of cool. And you can like go through the alphabet until you find something you like. And today I like the smiley, so we're gonna use smiley, which is capital J with this font. Now smiley is a bit small, so double click that, make sure he's highlighted, can bring up the text as far as we can. You can actually double click that and go bigger. So 1000 seems pretty good. Let's kind of center him up. Maybe I'll go a bit bigger than that. What's 1250 look like? There we go. Now we've got a nice big smiley. Change the depth to 33. Let's change the front edge to round and crank up that front edge size like that. Then let's choose a different thing this time, a different material. Let's go grunge red this time. Then it looks like that. Pretty cool. Double click that again. Go to your text tool. A 180, actually we're going to do a 360 spin coming in and coming out for a rotate. We're going to do a 360 flip. Let's see how that looks. Give it a second to render. So we get that 360 spin and then a 360 flip. All right. So you can see that the 360 is a bit more energetic than the 180. I usually use 180 just because 360 gets a bit busy, but I thought I'd show you how it looks. All right. Now that we have Smiley, let's export Smiley. 
as a 4K project. Save that one. And now we can see that we've got a smiley move movie. A smiley movie. Look how happy he looks. Pretty neat. Now that we've done that, and we've made this black background, I call it an alpha channel. It isn't really, but I'll show you how you can use these black backgrounds and composite them onto other backgrounds. So let's create another project. Text composite. We'll make it 4K again, same frame rate. Double click that. And let's get an interesting background this time. So let's go to dynamic backgrounds and we're going to play with alloy. Let's drag that down there. Let's change the duration to four seconds. Before we can zoom, let's just get out and go back in. And now we can zoom it. Give it a second to render. Doesn't take that long. And then what you can do is go to where we saved our movies. So we're going to grab this 3D demo starbeltex.mov and just drag them on top. And now when you look at it, you're like, okay, that's cool. I see my text, but where's that background? So there's a few ways to go about this. Make sure you select the top clip here. You can change the opacity, but then you start to lose resolution on your text. So that's one way, and that's with blend mode normal. Another really quick way to do it is to add as your blend mode. When you do this, you can sort of see the lines mingled with your text, which is okay. I mean, it's an interesting look. That's one thing you can do. You can go to difference and get some interesting effects where the text is differenced with the background. That's also a very interesting thing to do. You can go with exclusion, which gives you another kind of differencing option where again, you can see a different way it's compositing the background with the text. We're gonna go with difference for this one because I kinda like how that looks. Let's export the text composite. And now we have this movie file. And if we play it, kind of step our way. Spacebar lets you pause. You can see how we have this interesting compositing effect. All right, let's do one more and show you a different way of doing this. Let's create a new project again. Let's call this one Smiley Composite. Let's go to our dynamic backgrounds again. This time we're going to choose Nebula. It's kind of fun. Throw that in your timeline. Change the duration to four seconds again. Go back to your movies, dip into another one, then back to Smiley and it will be properly zoomed. Then let's go grab our Smiley.mov that we made and put it on top. And same as the text, you can see that Smiley's there, but our background is not. And we could play around with compositing, but let's try something different this time. Let's try going to our effects. So it's this little guy over here, go to video all, type in Luma to find the Luma here. Drag the Luma here onto Smiley. And you can sort of see Smiley there, but not really. So you can try inverting it. And then you see Smiley kind of washed out, but that's not what we want. So that's not going to help us. We can try cranking the Luma roll off, but that's not helping us either. You can play around with these sliders. And now we see that Smiley's coming in and if we go just about there, kind of find the threshold that you like. I kind of like it there. 
Then you can use your Luma roll off to kind of sharpen it a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's see how that looks. So now we have Smiley on a moving background. And of course, we can export that as a 4K video. And once it's done, we can watch our Smiley composite. Looks pretty good. So this is how you can use Funnel Cut Pro to create animated 3D text effects, but also animate 3D objects if they happen to be part of a font pack. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already for more great tutorial content in the future. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.